Welcome everybody to Formula D. Today we are starting a short series of uh, three races in which we are going to have four teams competing for the title. Uh, the top four racers from this race will go on to the uh, championship race and the four bottom four racers will go on to their own race and we'll determine who is the biggest loser who comes in last. So let's see who the racers are today. On the red team, we have Dark Red is the Duke Boys from the Dukes of Hazard. They have a special ability of being able to jump over a car that's in front of them. The Light Red is Speed Racer. He doesn't have a special ability, and that's the case with each of these teams. One will have a special ability, one will not. The Blue team has the Blues Brothers as the Dark Blue car, and James Bond is the Light Blue car. James Bond is one with a special ability. Anytime anyone comes within a space of him, they have to roll twice to see if they take damage. And on the green team, you have Ricky Bobby in the light green car and Wayne and Garth in the dark green car. Ricky Bobby has the Lord Jesus baby powers, which allows him to heal one aspect of the car. Wayne and Garth have no special ability, but that shouldn't come as any surprise. And finally, you have the brown team. Light brown is Toonses the driving cat, and the dark brown is Chewbacca. Toonses has the special ability where he can take a point of damage to leave behind two pieces of debris. And anytime he's normally damaged, he also leaves behind two pieces of debris behind him. It is presently raining in Monaco, which is where we're racing today. That means that it's going to be a little easier for people to hit one another. But it cools down their engines when they are going really fast. So watch for some really high speed accidents. Best kind of racing. Alright, the racers are on their marks. Get set and go! The Duke boys lurch ahead with a high roll right off of the starting line. Toonses is catching up with Ricky Bobby and the Blues Brothers on their tail. Speed Racer has already had an accident, bumping into Wayne and Garth. He takes a little bit of damage. Going around the first bend and we wind up with our two groups. In the lead are the Duke boys, the Blues Brothers, Ricky Bobby, and Toonses. Taking up the tail are Wayne and Garth, James Bond, Chewbacca, and Speed Racer. They zip around to the next bend, and oh no, Toonses, watch out! Toonses bumps into the back of the Duke Boys. The Duke Boys leave behind one piece of debris, and Toonses leaves behind two. Chewy, James Bond, and Speed Racer are still left behind, while the Blues Brothers, Ricky Bobby, and Wayne's World are coming up on the bend. They get to the bend, and there's some more bumping going on. Looks like Chewbacca and Wayne's World bumped each other. It happened as they were trying to dodge out of the way of Toonses' debris. Now there's debris all the way across that bend. It's a good thing that this is a one-lap race, but that's not going to help James Bond, who actually might have been the cause of Wayne and Garth's damage there. So he might have put the debris in front of himself. And now they're coming around the second bend. The Duke boys have pulled out ahead, and behind them they've got their teammate Speed Racer, followed by the Blues Brothers, Chewbacca, Wayne and Garth, their teammate Ricky Bobby, and James Bond taking the rear. I hear that's how he likes his martini. Oh, I missed in the lead that Toonses is actually ahead, and the Duke boys had to slow way down to get that turn. They have been passed up now by the Blues Brothers, who have taken some damage on their tires by swinging around it. They now go into the winding snake turn. The Blues Brothers are falling right up behind Toonses, who voluntarily drops some debris for them to run over. Everyone else is jumbled at the first part of the snake turn. As they come out of it, the Blues Brothers, who survived the debris, have gone into the inside and are now taking the lead. Toonses has had to go to the outside, but Chewbacca is right on their rear, followed closely by the Duke Boys. And now they start down that straightaway. Toonses is in the lead, followed by the Duke Boys. But oh, what's this? The Duke Boys are using their special ability and jumping over Toonses. They come out ahead of him. And now the Duke Boys have taken the lead. They shoot down that straightaway and zip through that next curve. They take some tire damage coming out of it, but their lead is very substantial. Chewbacca has opened up and he's racing full speed towards that turn. He's followed by the Blues Brothers, then his furry teammate Toonsons. The rest are just barely making it out of the snake turn. And now the Duke boys are getting into the next turn, while Chewbacca's just going through the last one, and the Blues Brothers are having to slow into it. James Bond, Ricky Bobby, and Speed Racer are taking up the rear, along with Wayne and Garth way in the back. Several cars are getting slowed down by this curve, giving the Duke boys a wider lead. They're rolling just perfectly, hitting those bends just at the right places. And now those behind them get into that curve. It doesn't look like any of them have the momentum to be able to catch up with them. 
especially since the Duke boys have now fulfilled the curve ahead. Also, a couple of them have bumped, creating some more debris on the inner curve. Tunes and the Blues brothers wrestle for second, while a large clump comes out of the last curve, and Ricky Bobby is left behind way in the rear, having had to slow down significantly for that curve. James Bond, who wants to get past Speed Racer, shoots it and causes some damage to him. That is nearly destroying Speed Racer's car. Tunes is coming out of the next curve, and he decides to leave behind some more debris to slow down everyone behind him. Meanwhile, Glenn and Garth is the next target of James Bond, who hits them and causes them to take more damage. There is a lot of debris on this rainy track, which might be causing some of the damage as well. And now the Blues Brothers have entered the U-turn, while the Duke boys now get into the straightaway. Once again, they rolled perfectly, hitting that last curve at exactly the place they wanted to. And the rest of the cars are still trailing behind in that winding curve. The Duke boys open up on the straightaway. That finish line is all theirs. It's now down to who's gonna get second through fourth. And the Blues Brothers are leading the pack. Several of them are coming out of it, and oh, Speed Racer has lost control. He's taken too much tire damage, and he spins out. Everyone has to drive around him while the Duke boys go past the finish line. They are going to be first in this race. The Blues Brothers are the next to open up. They zip across that straightaway, and they are in second. Now Wayne's World and Toonces, the driving cat, are vying for third. They both open up, but Wayne and Garth were in a higher gear and they get across that straightaway in no time. They have passed the finish line there in third, while James Bond and Ricky Bobby try to catch that cat despite all the odds against them. And it is Toonce's teammate, Chewbacca, which catches up, racing past the finish line right behind Toonce's. So Toonce's will go on to the championship, and his teammate, Chewbacca, will go into the second tier race. So there are your winners going on to the championship. That's the Duke boys in first, Blues Brothers in second, Wayne and Garth in third, and Toons is the driving cat in fourth. Of the second group, you have Chewbacca in first, James Bond in second, Ricky Bobby in third, and Speed Racer, who did not finish the race, in fourth. They will be going on to the losers race, which will be next week. Well, we hope you enjoyed this race. As I mentioned, the next two races will be over the next couple weeks. So subscribe to see more and check back for us. Happy gaming, everybody.